Marvel Legends fans and collectors, we've got Valkyrie, this time from Love and Thunder, part of the Korg Builder figure wave. Um, this is the first Valkyrie figure I've had, so this one's a good one. I really like this one. I'm glad I sort of held out for, for this particular Valkyrie. Um, really did like her armor from uh, Endgame, I think it was. I can't remember if they did a figure of her. I know they did one for uh, Ragnarok, but... I feel like they may have done another one at some point, but yeah, definitely passed on it um, and glad. Now, she was definitely a highlight of Thor Love and Thunder, and this figure is just really, really nice too. Love how they've put this one together. Head sculpt is fantastic. Great likeness of uh, Tessa Thompson. They've done a really good job of that. Actually, the hair. Sort of sculpting on those braids looks fantastic. I love the sort of vibrant blue cape, I think that looks really nice. Really good contrast against like the reds of Thor and you know the black and white. I love the outfit, still going for that very Asgardian sort of feel. A few more little paint details on the legs would be good, like the little. Little rings there on the thighs of the, the straps. She does have a knife there on her boot, which is not removable. It's just, uh, you know, it's stuck on there, which, you know, I could have done without. Would be nice just to have a nice sort of clean boot like this side, but that's okay. She does have a sword, which is nice. So we may see an updated version at some point with the uh, secondary weapon she has in the movies. You know, it still is early days, so I'm not going to spoil that. But uh, yeah, at some point in the weapon, she does end up with another weapon. Yeah, really just like the look of this figure. It's a cool looking figure. I love the, love the boots. I don't know, there's something about those boots. Yeah, the whole outfit, very sort of... As guardian awesomeness, I'm I'm digging it big time. So I think we'd all I mean we'd, I think we'd all prefer sort of soft goods on these capes, but to be honest, when they're sitting on a shelf and they're posed up like, you know, I've got her in a bit of a bit of a hero pose here. The sort of cape, sort of flexing back a little bit in the wind. She's uh, not getting blown over. I don't know. I think it's a cool look. I really, I really dig it. So you can zoom up and have a look. Little details like the little insignia on the chest, pinless joints in the arms and legs. So yeah, it's a, it's an all new figure. Some of the hands probably reused. That's fine. The arms are probably, or well, at least the top half, maybe. Reused? Oh, no idea. Again, not 100% sure. It was a really cool outfit. Yeah, she's going to be back in the MCU again at some point, whether it's another Thor film or something else altogether. I think she'll be a, definitely a worthy addition to the franchise in the future, you know, since, since her inception in, in Thor Ragnarok. And she rides a unicorn. I mean, what's not to love about that? So there is a nice look at Valkyrie from Love and Thunder. Let me know what you think. I'd love to hear your thoughts. Cool figure in my books. Um, got Thor coming up next in his sort of big super duper armoured outfit. So I'm, I'm looking forward to sharing that one. Um, so yeah, stay tuned. Thanks very much for watching. I'll see you on the next one.